Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com This tutorial will look at how to calculate a length of service for employees in Excel So on the sheet at the moment I have an example of an employee and some data about them such as the date they started work at a company and the date that they, they ended and I would wish to calculate their length of service Now to do this the plan is to use the date diff function in Excel. The date diff function will calculate the difference between two dates and will present that difference uh, in an interval of your choice. For example by years, by months, by days, whatever it is that you are after. Now we would like to display the years and the months of service. So we're going to have two date diff functions, one bringing back the years one bringing back the months remaining after the years has been calculated and we're going to concatenate the two of them together uh, using the words years and months as well into a nice meaningful answer so in cell E2 getting straight into it we want to find the length of service for Frank Furter so we'll say equals date diff opening bracket now you'll notice as we're typing this that date diff is a function that is not documented in Excel. For some reason, whatever that weird reason is, it is not documented. Let's get rid of that BT Wi-Fi prompt message. Um, so we don't get any information, we don't get any help like you would when you normally write a function. But the information it wants is the start date followed by the end date followed by the interval you wish to use. So, I'll give it a start date in our example, which is cell C2, followed by a comma, followed by the end date, cell D2, followed by a comma, and then the interval entered as a string. So it means we put double inverted commas around the Y to indicate I would like to return how many years difference between them two dates. Closing bracket, and then I'm going to put an ampersand, which is our concatenation operator. Now we're going to use this ampersand to join functions and pieces of text together in this function. So I'm going to follow how many years difference with the word years. So I'll put some double inverted commas, I'll put a space to separate the number and the word, and I'll just write years, comma, space, closing double inverted commas ampersand again to join the next bit this is going to be how many months difference so we're going to have another date diff function where once again we will specify C2 as the start date D2 as the end date and this time I'm going to put YM inside these dumbly inverted commas these kind of speech marks to say the months within the years don't figure out how many months in general, you know, it's going to come up with a big number. I want to say, you know, calculate the years and what's left over, how many months. Closing bracket, and once again, I'm going to concatenate the word months. Don't want any spaces here, I've got a space on the end of the years. Oh, actually, sorry, I would want a space at the start to break up the years and then a uh, space months. So, if I press enter, it tells me that between them two dates, there are 32 years and two months. Frank Furter committed 32 years and two months of his life to this job. We could, if you had, if you were dealing with employees who hadn't, if they didn't have an end date, they hadn't left the company yet, we could replace, you know, the uh, the D2, the end date function, with the today function which might be another intelligent use of it I'm trying to figure out how many how long between that start date and today's date and using it today function instead of D2 we have that dynamic nature that's always going to change in this scenario month by month uh, so there are obviously many uses for it and the date diff function is fantastic at this kind of stuff it really is, now we've got 32 years and, and 4 months kind of difference between them and um, yes there's how we can calculate a, a years of service 
thank you for watching this tutorial. I um, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you find it useful. Please check out some more other tips and tutorials at computergaga.com.